What's up guys, Exhale here today with a video regarding everything you need to know about Lava Runt. Who, what, when, how, and why. So first of all, what is a Lava Run and why do you want to do it? To put it simply, a Lava Run is a completely legal terrain exploit that allows you to skip most of the bosses in Blackrock Depths and end up on the last three encounters. The Torch Room, Magmus, and then the Emperor Dagrin Thorissian and the Princess Moira Bronzebeard encounter. Now the only prerequisite to doing that is Lord Incendius, which you'll need the Shadowforge key to get to most efficiently. And the Shadowforge key comes from a very short and easy quest line called the Dark Iron Legacy that you probably will have already completed. And because the Emperor himself is level 59, I would recommend level 55 plus for DPS and tanks and level 53 plus for healers. Now one of the great things about Lava Runs is that you can add more bosses to those three encounters. Uh, you could add the whole arena area, doing Lord Rocker, the High Interrogator, Houndmaster, and even the arena itself. You could add Bale Gar right around the corner from the entrance. You can add uh, General Angerforge, which is probably the most popular addition considering he drops Hand of Justice, which is one of the best trinkets, period. Just note that if you do Anger Forge, you will have to backtrack, but the distance is so small that it is negligible. And to put the cherry on top, Lava Runs can also get you Molten Core attuned because they spit you out right in front of the raid portal, allowing you to get the Core Fragment for your Molten Core attunement for Lothos Rift Waker. And if you're a blacksmith, you have access to the Black Anvil right next to Lord Insidious, and the Black Forge right next to the Molten Core entrance. If you can't tell, Lava Runs have it all, and they're one of the best ways to get geared and attuned for the first raid, Molten Core. If you're not already doing them, you're behind. Now, let's get to the pathing. Now, from the entrance, you're going to take a left to the first Shadow Forge Gate, and then the second Shadow Forge Gate right here. You're going to take a left into the East Garrison, and you can see me killing these mobs right here, but you don't need to do so unless you're going to kill Anger Forge. Unlocking this lock right here is only if you're going to do Anger Forge, not the regular Lava Run. Head up here towards the arena and you're going to keep heading around this uh, sky bridge and hallway as if you're going towards Anger Forge, even for the regular lava run. Now this is where the lava run actually starts. You're going to jump out this window and kill this pack of mobs, make your way uh, to these fire elementals and then to Lord Insedius. Now once you down Lord Insedius, you're actually going to turn around and jump off of his platform down into the lava and you're going to find this nice little pathway along the wall and you shouldn't take too much fire damage. This little hill is actually your first checkpoint and it's because there's a fire guard destroyer in the lava that you will need to pull out. You'll probably need to put a couple heals on your tank as well. Now after you've killed it, you're actually ready for the lava running part. Uh, it's great to pre-bubble at this part uh, or to throw out a couple heals, maybe a renew if you have it. And if you have a shaman in your group, make sure they throw down a fire resist totem about halfway through the lava running. Also notice that my health did not go down a single time while running through that lava. Uh, the reason being is if you time your jumps correctly, you will not take any fire damage at all. And this is something consistent for all lava, not just this section right here. Once you make your way to this island, you can stand on the little corner without pulling any of the mobs, and they do pull two at a time. You can kill all four of them, or you can just kill the front two and then jump around as you see me doing here. Now as you make your way out of the lava and up this little ramp, note that to the right is the Black Forge, and if you make a U-turn to the left, you will end up at the Molten Core Portal, and then also the Core Fragment. Now if you don't need your Molten Core Attunement, you do not have to do that second group of mobs. If you make your way up the ramp, note that the Room of the Seven Dwarves is to the left, you cannot get to it, and now you're going to go to the right towards the Lyceum. Now the Lyceum is probably the most difficult part of the instance, and that's why it is its own encounter in itself. Um, what you're trying to do is look for two Flame Keepers. Uh, you need to kill two of these and loot their torches. Note that the torches do have a five minute despawn time from the time you loot them, so you need to do this very quickly. On top of that, the groups of mobs that you see in this room actually have a 30 second respawn, which makes it very difficult. Now the best way to address this room is to have your entire group stack on the tank. Do not do any DPS until you LOS the adds and make sure they all group up because you will have a couple adds on the outside shooting guns at you and if those pull more adds and then you get your 30 second respawn, you'll probably wipe. Now immediately when you enter the room there can be two very close spawns for the flamekeeper, one directly to your left and one directly to your right. 
If you get these two very close spawns, this room can be very easy. If they aren't there, don't fret. Uh, the flame keepers are most likely one in the center of the room and one on the opposite corner from which you entered. And the most important thing about this room is that you keep moving and you're stacked up so you don't have stragglers pulling extra groups. If you pull more than one group, uh, there's a good chance you will wipe unless you're in a group with uh, fairly geared people and or level 60s. Once you get once or both of your torches, you want to head towards the fire elementals. You need to light a fire right behind them, and once both are lit at the same time, you will open the door to the next encounter. Also note that the respawning of the mobs will not occur once you have opened the final door after lighting both of the fires. And again, this is one of the most frustrating encounters in the instance, and probably the hardest. Don't get frustrated, take your time before DPSing, make sure you stack, and you guys will be fine. Now, right through the door is Magnus. He's a pretty easy tank and spank. I usually tank him against the wall right next to where he's standing, and I pop a minor cooldown. Uh, save your big ones for the Emperor and Princess encounter. Now, in terms of loot, don't expect a lot because he usually will drop a green or nothing at all, even though his loot table says otherwise. After he's dead, go through the doors and you're in the final room. The objective here is to kill every mob prior to engaging the Princess and the Emperor himself. The only thing you need to watch out for in this room is that if you are too close to the groups of mobs in the four corners, uh, you can actually aggro the mobs up top, so watch your low level characters. And lastly, this particular group in the front left corner uh, can aggro the princess, which will aggro the emperor if you get too close. Now if you've gotten to this point, you are ready for the last encounter. This fight is fairly straightforward and you need to fight the princess with the emperor, there is no way to separate them. Uh, you cannot CC the princess, but she will heal the emperor from time to time, and the emperor himself will enrage and do a little more damage. Uh, he hits pretty hard, so you probably want to save your larger cooldowns for this section, and if you are trying to save the princess, only thing you can do is ignore her. Just don't forget to turn the quest in to her after she becomes a friendly NPC. Now if you want to reset this instance to do this over and over with the group, the best thing you can do is either convert it to a raid and step into the Molten Core portal and then back out, and it will teleport you out uh, right next to Lothos Riftwaker, or what you can do is invite a sixth member to the party, promote them to leader, then have the five members inside of Blackrock Depths log out, when they are all logged out, that six member, the raid leader, uh, resets the instance, and whenever the five members inside of the instance log back in, they will actually be teleported to the beginning of the instance inside of the portal, and the entire instance will be reset. But that is everything you need to know about Lava Runs, guys. If you found this video helpful, drop a comment, like, subscribe, and until next time, this has been Exhale.